Well, Gene, I'll give you a look yourself. You can take a look at the ocean here, and you can see that while the conditions are still fairly strong there. The waves are not splashing over the seawall like they were earlier. But while conditions are improving, there's still a lot of cleanup that needs to be done. Even heavy trucks used to dealing with stormy weather had difficulty navigating the roads as the high tide moved in. The waves continuously splashing over the seawall, forcing officials to close Ocean Boulevard. As the water poured over the seawall, it made its way across the boulevard, flooding basements of homes and businesses. All around town, roads were closed, including Ashworth Avenue. While residents in that area are used to dealing with flooding, one resident said this was as bad as they could remember. The town also opened their emergency center and firefighters responded to numerous calls, but there were no reports of any injuries. Now, while the water may be going down, the police chief says in a way their work is just beginning. After that, we're going to have to make another assessment to determine if there are any roadway uh, concerns, uh, any structural concerns in the area. Uh, we do have a sinkhole uh, on a road uh, uh, in, toward the, uh, the center of town right now that our DPW folks are out dealing with. So we're, we're concerned about the integrity of the roadways as well. As you take a live look at the ocean, you can see the power in those waves, and this storm was so powerful. The police chief says they're concerned also about the possible structural integrity of the seawall, as well as some homes along the ocean, all things that will have to be checked into as the waters recede. Reporting live at Hampton Beach, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.